Welcome to this video on how to prepare dilutions for the tempo. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain the basics of the tempo dilution and review some basic dilution concepts, explain dilutions in general, understand the tempo dilution schema, as well as how to set up a quality check of your dispenser and the secondary diluent using the tempo system. Dilutions allow for creating a less concentrated solution from the original sample. When the sampling materials have a large number of colonies in them, you will need to dilute the sample to be able to count the number of colonies. Colonies forming units, or CFU, based on the limitation of the product you are using. For example, if a product's countable range happens to be 0 to 25 and your sample has 100 colony forming units, then without dilution you would not be able to get an accurate reading on the product. You will get what is known as too numerous to count or TNTC. The product will need to be diluted, for example, at 1 to 10, so the diluted sample will then have an approximate one colony of diluted sample equal to 10 colonies of the original sample to meet the product limitations. With the tempo system, each card can read a range of 3.7 logs allowing a count range of 1 to 4,900, 10 to 49,000, 100 to 490,000, 1,000 to 4,900,000, etc. It is important to understand that when the tempo is programmed to run a 1 to 4 sample, the system will tell you how many colony forming units are in that tube for that sample. When you tell the tempo a dilution factor other than 1 to 4, then you are telling the system to count backwards to the original sample based on how many dilutions it took to get to the current tube. For example, if the original sample in this slide has 1,000 colony forming units, the first tube over will have 100 colony forming units. The next tube will have 10 colony forming units, and the last tube will have one colony forming unit approximately. If you sample from any of the tubes and call it 1 to 4, you will get that number. A sample taken from the first tube at 1 to 4 will give approximately 100 CFUs, etc. If you want to know what the concentration of the original sample from the third tube, we would have to tell the tempo that we have done three successful 1 to 10 dilutions. We will look at that next. Here, we have no idea about the count range of your original sample. It is a good idea to run two sets of tests at different dilutions to get an idea of the count range. As mentioned before, the tempo system gives a 3.7 log count range. From the same sample bag that has a 1 to 10 sample dilution and without having to do another dilution tube, you can test a 1 to 4 sample and get a count range of 10 colony forming units to 49,000 colony forming units. Or you can test a 1 to 40 and get a count range of 100 colony forming units to 490,000 colony forming units. This will give you a heads up about the count in your product. And in the future, you will ideally just run the dilution range that gives you a count in the middle of the range. Let us now discuss how the calculation of the dilution input into the tempo system is done. The tempo vial will allow, with a few exceptions, have a 4.0 ml of sample and a secondary diluent, which is sterile DI water in it. You will always hydrate the tempo vial with a secondary diluent first. There are two basic reasons. Number one, if you are using a dispenser and you have a sample in your vials, the force of the water pouring into your vial may splash the content and you will contaminate the dispenser tube. Hence, the rest of your test will be contaminated. Number two, a better reason is that the organisms you are trying to recover are stressed. 
If you put a stressed organism on the selective media, there is a very good chance it will not survive to be detected. Take for example, you have not eaten for days and you are starving. And then you open a door and there before you is a buffet table full of delicious foods and desserts. You eat and eat until you get to the point of being so sick. It is the same for the organisms. It is a stress to their digestive system and they cannot handle it. For this reason, we hydrate the selective media and then add the sample. If we start from a sample that has been diluted to a 1 to 10 in buffered peptone water or Butterfield's phosphate diluent, we add 1 ml of sample to the vial that has been hydrated with 3 ml of DI water for a total of 4 ml. In order to find the dilution, we have applied the formula sample volume over total volume. In the tempo vial, we had a total volume of 4 ml denominator and we added 1 ml of sample. The dilution in the tempo vial is 1 to 4. We started with a 1 to 10 dilution of our sample. From our algebra courses, we know that when we mix dilutions, we multiply them. So 1 to 4 times 1 to 10 will equal 1 to 40. We input that into the tempo prep area, and that will allow an enumeration range of 10 CFUs to 49,000 CFUs. If our count range was higher than 49,000 CFUs, we do not need to create another original sample at a higher dilution. We can do another dilution into the pipette tip. We will take 0.1 ml of sample into the tempo vial that has already been hydrated with 3.9 ml of DI water. Again, for a total of 4 ml. So the dilution of the tempo vial is now 1 to 10 over 4 or 1 over 40. We start with the same 1 to 10 sample and so we multiply 1 to 40 times 1 to 10 giving us 1 to 400 dilution to enter into the tempo prep. That will allow us to have a counting range of 100 CFUs to 490,000 CFUs. If you need a higher range of count, then you have to start with a different original sample. So, for example, you can start from an original sample, 1 to 100, and if you take 0.1 ml of sample into a vial that has been hydrated with 3.9 ml of DI water, you now have a dilution of 1 to 4,000 giving you a countable range of 1,000 CFU to 4,900,000 CFUs. In rare instances, we can fill the tempo vial with a total of 4 ml of sample. This is used to do a negative control on the dispenser and DI water that has been autoclaved. The dispenser is the most common cause of contamination. If we dispense 4 ml of water from the dispenser into the tempo vial, we have a total volume of 4 ml in the denominator and a sample volume of 4 ml in the numerator. That is 1 to 1 in the tempo, giving a count range of 0 0.25 CFUs to 1,200 CFUs. If the sample is liquid and does not have any interference due to enzymatic activity, color, or pH, you can also take 1 ml of the sample into the tempo vial that has been hydrated with 3 ml of DI water, giving us a 1 to 4 dilution, allowing for a count range of 1 CFU to 4,900 CFUs. If you should have any questions, Please do not hesitate to contact BMRU Industry Technical Support or your BMRU Field Application Specialist.